In this video, we're going to talk about how you can add Flutterwave to your Shopify store. Before we get started, I'm assuming that you already onboarded on Flutterwave for Business and you have access to your FOB dashboard. Great, let's get started. To make this video easy to follow, we're going to break it up into two parts, installing the plugin and testing your integration. To get started with the installation, first, you need to log into your Shopify dashboard. Once you're on your dashboard, navigate to settings and select payments. In the payment settings, scroll till when you can see the supported payment methods and click on the add payments method button. You will see two tabs here. Click on the search by provider tab. In the search box, type Flutterwave to look for Flutterwave. Click on the activate button next to Flutterwave to continue the process. You get a brief preview after selecting Flutterwave. At this point, you need to connect your FOB account to your Shopify integration. To do that, we're going to click on the manage button and that should take us to the connection page where we're required to input our API keys. At this stage, we expect that you will log into your FOB dashboard to get your keys, but I'm not going to do that in this video. Instead, I'm going to get my keys, input them here so that I can complete the integration. Please note that these keys are demo keys from a test account. And it's not going to help you so much if you copy these keys and use them in your own integration. So make sure you have a successful integration. Please log into your dashboard and get your keys. So I'm just going to copy the keys to complete the integration. After imputing the keys, click the submit button. We now have Flutterwave added to our store. What we need to do now is to test the integration. Flutter gives you the option to test with mock data in test mode. To be able to carry out a test transaction in our test mode, simply check the enable test mode option in the Flutter settings and click on the activate Flutter Africa button. For the sake of this video, I would however like to demo an actual transaction and won't be making use of the test mode. So I'll just uncheck this for now and activate my plugin. Great. Now I'm going to head back to my dashboard and make an actual transaction on my Shopify store. To do that, I'm going to preview my store and I'm going to add some items to my cart and check out. I'm going to complete the payment with a bank transfer. And we can see that the payment is successful. So basically, this is how you would be able to add Flutterwave to your Shopify store and set it up for customers to make payments. If you run into any issues, or you have any questions for us, please feel free to reach out to us via email at hi at